Okay, so welcome back to the Upload TV. Uh, this week we're on a little bit of a road trip where uh, we've travelled up to Ayrshire and the, uh, the home of next year's Open Golf Championship, which will be played at Royal Troon. Um, although we're not going to visit Troon this week, we're going to visit some of the courses in the surrounding area. And uh, today we're at Dundonald Links. That was the home of the, uh, the Ladies Scottish Open this year. So uh, it certainly had some quality golf here uh, be before we set foot on the course. Um, expecting a lot from it. Seen some great reviews on Tiuplo already this year. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. We've just got the practice putting green behind us. That itself looks in great condition. So uh, if everything follows suit, we should be in for a good day. So uh, let's go and play some golf. Okay, so on the fifth hole at Dundonald Links, which is a, uh, it's another par five. Fairly straightforward, um, but again, once you get to the green, it's so important to find the right, uh, the right levels. They've got the pin cut in this little kind of hollow, I don't know, with a circumference of about sort of 10 foot. And I've put three different uh, potential landing positions. Neither of them would be considered to be particularly bad shots, but I can assure you a two putt from any of these positions would be uh, no easy task. Furthest one away from the hole, there's a, there's a rise in front, and then once it gets to the top of the rise, it's just all downhill from then on in. And quite a big swing as well. So it's up the hill, back down it. Well, we'd be more than happy with that one. That's quite good. Again, I don't know whether you can pick it up from camera, but this ball again just needs starting off. It's right the way down to the hole. And it's a case of anything too quick. There's, there it goes. And it misses. And all of a sudden that's gone sort of whatever. Uh, six, seven, eight foot pass. So again, Shorter putt, but I'm even further away from the hole. And this is another one that looks extremely severe. You just get the ball rolling over the brow, releases down to the hole. And again, I mean, that's no easy, no easy finish with another three foot and awkward, difficult chip. So the greens at Dundonald Links, apart from being extremely tri uh, fast, are extremely tricky in being able to land on that correct position to make yourself an easy two putt. Okay, so on the sixth hole, it's a great little par three. Uh, Interestingly enough, it's stroke index 18, so in theory should be the easiest hole on the golf course. And I've got a feeling that isn't going to be the case. Uh, quick look behind me, there's a, there's a ravine that I don't know that you can spot down there. From uh, It's slightly in a bit of a dip, so there's some yellow markers down there. Big gaping bunker, front left. And then all the way parallel to the hole is the red stakes, which is obviously a water hazard there as well. So considering it's stroke index 18, there's plenty of trouble up there waiting for us. Um, so we're going to... It's playing 160, we're going to six iron it into the wind, it's gotten pretty miserable, but uh, we'll see how we get on. That's just took that only slightly left and that's probably in the red stakes. Okay, so we're on the, uh, our ball came to rest in the green side bunker on the six. And uh, after four steps down into it, tells you how steep it is. It's a pretty severe all the way around. But the great feature about this bunker is obviously, in many, in many ways, straightforward enough to get out. But you've got these great undulations in the green again in front of you. But more worryingly than that is those red stakes that I mentioned off the tee. Is if you throw this one long, you're straight back into the, uh, the red markers on the other side. So really, one of those ones that uh, you certainly don't look forward to if you're playing a medal round of golf. But we'll try and get it out. If it lands soft and... Release up to the uh, release up to the hole. Look at that fly down now. Well, we got away with it. Didn't quite go into the brook, but uh, again, it's going to be one of those difficult two putts. Okay, so we're on the seventh hole at Dundonald, and uh, great little par four. It's a dog leg right to left from the uh, from the tee. If you can cut the uh, the angle of the dog leg off, you're left with a fairly short iron into the green. But uh, really, make sure, as I've said earlier, you get that club selection correct because. What they've done very well here at Dundonald is they've created the natural contours of the land um, to create its, uh, a great little defence in front of this green. And what I mean by that is, get the club selection wrong and land anywhere across this front apron short, and the inevitable is going to happen, your ball will just roll straight back down to the bottom into this gully. And it's a real, a real difficult up and down from anywhere in here. Um, you might consider putting. I've got a pitching wedge that I'm just going to try and get up the hill, killed it a bit there, and that's probably not a bad result. But uh, I would imagine, judging by the way I play the game, that nine times out of 10, that would finish quite a bit further away. So we'll take that one, but a great natural defense here 
in front of the seventh at Dundonald. So what a feature you've got here on the, uh, well, leaving the eighth green and making your way onto the, uh, to the ninth tee box, you'll be met with a, a rather unusual food ordering system, which is uh, fantastic. And if you open a box and pick up the phone, and it's a case of, uh, yeah, not playing very well, send me six beers on for the next tee. And it's a great little system there, and uh, one that I've never seen at any other golf course before. Okay. Okay, so we're at the back of the 11th green here at uh, Dundonald, and uh, don't be fooled by what looks like a very straightforward par three from the tee. It's uh, 120 yards, target reasonably big, but what you'll be met with at the front of the green, which we can't quite see, on the opposite side to where I'm stood now, you'll see three very severe and penal bunkers. Very high face and they don't look good, so the idea is maybe from there you'd want to go a little bit longer in your club selection. But don't be fooled by that, because if you've not played this golf course before, anything over the back of the green, if you're landing literally that's a couple of yards too long, your ball is going to make its way all the way down into a little bunker, which you won't find out until you get back down uh, and make your way to see where your ball's finished. And believe me, it's one of the severest bunkers uh, you're likely to be faced with. Even walking down here is a hazard. We've got, what is it, five or six steps down here. And when I do get down here, what you'll be met with is um, what we're looking at. We're probably, a ball is about 20, or the, the, um, the, the green, the flag is about 20 foot above my head. So, again, not one that you really want to be playing back to. And uh, a great feature, and uh, a scary little feature at Dundonald Links. Okay, so no video course review would be complete at Dundonald if we don't take a look at the bunkers because they really are a key feature of this golf course. Um, they're dotted pretty much everywhere around the place and uh, if you avoid a bunker uh, throughout 18 holes of golf at Dundonald, you've either played extremely well or been extremely lucky. And when you do land in them, whether they be fairway bunkers or greenside, they're very difficult, very penal, severely high faced as you can see from behind me this is probably looking at about i don't know the bunker lips probably as much as six foot to clear so they're very very difficult to play i've come up short on a par three and uh, again it's a scary thing to look at when you've got that kind of bunker faced in front of you i think that's one's gone probably a, a little bit long but again throughout the whole course they've been in great condition all play very consistent and are a real key feature of the golf course Okay, so we're on the uh, 16th, or just about to enter onto the 16th fairway, and uh, this hole is uh, a par four, it's stroke index one, and it really does uh, sort of epitomise what Dundonald Links is all about. It's got some great rolling fairways, you can see the undulations behind me. Huge pot bunkers there waiting for you, one at around sort of 240, 250, and then you've got one a little bit further on again. Tight tree line down the right, Heavy um, gorse on the, uh, the left-hand side, they're heavy rough rather, so, uh, and the tee box is set back another sort of 150 yards from where I'm stood. So a real tough par four, and again really demonstrates the toughness of Dundonald. Okay, so on the back of the uh, 16th, and uh, this golf hole really does epitomise what Dundonald is all about. Um, stroke index one, 400 odd yards off the tee, and some great undulations. You can see the sweeping fairway behind me, and... Uh, Huge pot bunkers await um, if you miss the ball slightly left or miss the fairway rather, slightly left or slightly right. You play your second shot in again, all about getting that club selection right. Hopefully you can see behind me again, midway through the green is a severe tier, which again is a feature at Dundonald. Every green seems to have some really severe slopes and you find the wrong side of those greens and chances are you're going to make at least a three putt. And again, just one extra uh, bonus thrown in there is a uh, pot bunker that's probably again six foot deep to the left of the pin. So uh, real good golf hole, uh, real tough golf hole, and uh, everything that's good about Dundonald. Okay, so we're stood on the 18th green. Our round has come to a finish. It hasn't been the best day. We've had a bit of Scottish weather and uh, a bit of rain, I'm afraid. The, the wind has been fairly, uh, fairly benign, so we've got away with it in that sense, and a normal defense for the Lynx golf course will be the wind, but no, it's been okay today, to be fair. Uh, Dundonald Links is a, I would say, fairly tough track. Uh, we played it from the visitor tee box at 6,300 yards. The championship tees go all the way up to 7,100, so they can certainly make it tough. Fairways, although fairly generous, if you miss them, then you're in trouble. And uh, I would suggest bring a few balls with you in case. If you do manage to find a fairways, again, you've got to avoid the bunkers. And then again, playing into greens, as I showed you on some of the earlier videos, some severe slopes, and uh, it will certainly test your putting out here at Dundonald. Um, 
Good practice facilities, greens have been superb, uh, the welcome is very warm and very friendly in the clubhouse. We, we had some food before we went out today and again that was very good. Um, clubhouse is probably not what I'd have expected from a, a golf course of this calibre and I am led to believe this is a temporary situation and that uh, a new clubhouse is in the offing and I think that that's something you would certainly uh, expect to see at a golf course of this quality. Um, but in terms of uh, the golf course itself, I would certainly recommend it if you're in Ayrshire don't forget uh, Royal Troon, home of the Open Championship next year. There'll be plenty of visiting golf played at Dundonald and uh, there'll be some happy golfers around. <laughs>